title match, let's put it, um, would be Challengers. Um, now, Challengers is uh, directed by Luca Guadagnino. Um, it stars, of course, Zendaya, Mike Faist, um, and Josh O'Connor. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this movie. It's been done for a while, and it's just kind of been stuck in limbo, first because of the strikes, and then just because of like placement and marketing. Um, there's been a lot of talk from the trailers, uh, because it's a very provocative trailer. What, what is this movie? Because it looks way more than a sports movie. And I gotta tell you, it, it is. Um, Challengers that is, um, is just yet another example that Luca Guadagnino as a filmmaker just cannot be defined. He, he cannot be put in a box. I mean, he's jumped so successfully from genre to genre with, like, you know, um, his 2017 Oscar-winning romance, Call Me By Your Name, quickly shifting to, like, the witch coven horror of Suspiria. Uh, the following year, he did Bones and All, which I still haven't seen. Uh, would, I gotta catch up on that. But, you know, as an audience member, my inability to define Guadagnino um, makes him more exciting. You know, he's he's more exciting, you know, when he comes out with something because it's like, what is what do I expect, you know? Um, because generally, he's given me something good, right? He's giving, you know, he, I know that I could kind of rely on him to give me something really exciting, even if it's something totally different from his last thing, right? So what is Challengers about? Well, I'm going to just give you the synopsis basically from IMDb because it's complicated as hell. Um, it's a love triangle. Tennis, lots of secrets. It moves very fast. It jumps all over time. A viewer that's not paying attention will get lost very quickly. Okay? Um, Tashi, played by Zendaya, is a former tennis prodigy turned coach and married to Art Donaldson, Mike Faced. He's a champion on a losing streak. Her strategy for her husband's redemption takes a surprising turn when he must face off against his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend, Patrick, played by Josh O'Connor. The marketing might spoil a bit too much. Um, there's a couple scenes that I saw in the trailer that I wish I didn't know going in. But Challengers is pretty unpredictable. Um, it is a roller coaster, way more fun than it has any right being. The acting from all three leads is exceptional. Um, the sexual tension is boiling for huge portions of this movie. And I gotta say, to its credit, for a film that's loaded with sexual imagery, imagery and steamy moments, there actually is very little sex. Um, which I think is a testament to the filmmaker's ability behind the camera, right? Because he's kind of seducing the audience with the camera work and the dialogue. You know, he's not actually doing it through, you know, the most provocative um, scenes, right? I mean, this doesn't look like an LVT film. You know, there's a lot of moments where, like, characters' eyes linger for a bit too long, or we think that they want to say something and it just goes unsaid. You know, a lot of moments feel too good to be true and, you know, others seem, like, obviously dubious and suspicious, right? So, I do think that, like, Tashi's character might not be the most believable, but Zendaya pulls her off with this kind of raw authenticity um, and brings what I think could easily be a caricature um, to a real cold-blooded reality. Um, it's a really stellar and kind of unnerving performance from her. Um, and, you know, she's this actress that keeps consistently taking on this expanding list of, of challenging roles. You know, Tashi believes tennis is like a relationship. When you play real tennis, you truly, like, understand the other person. And, you know, Tashi brings this philosophy to her relationships with both of the men. Patrick and Art have this long history together. Mike Faced and Josh O'Connor are, are really both captivating in these really, like, sexually charged performances, you know, of these two men competing. F and, and Tashi is kind of the main prize. 
at points, I think. You know, it, it really... It's very interesting how... Our perspective changes so much over the course of this film. And we're... It's, it's a real, you know... It's kind of an, uh, you know a real meaning of the word of uh, of the phrase like nail biter right like it, it's constantly keeping us guessing in a sense which i which i found so cool i mean it was really an exciting um experience in the theater i have to say um you know and, and look i'm not a sports guy right i don't think i've ever watched a match of tennis on tv in my life but i mean i would give it a shot after this um, using tons of editing tricks and, and really innovative camera techniques. Um, Guadagnino and the cinematographer, and I apologize if, if, I, if I butcher this name, but uh, Sayambu uh, Muktibram. Uh, I mean, they really explore the game in a variety of creative and entertaining ways. Um, one of their tricks is the use of soundtrack by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. Um, Nine Inch Nails, guys? I mean... Where did that come from? But, um, I mean, many of the most intense moments use this kind of high-energy, high-volume EDM soundtrack, which pumps up the games. Um, at times, it could also drown out the dialogue, um, giving me a bit of a Nolan uh, feel. Look, the, the, the only comment I could really say about this is I really loved this movie. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, out of the clunkers, um, that's kind of been, I mean, out of what I saw this weekend, uh, Challengers definitely hit at the top for me. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those movies where as an audience member, I'm constantly questioning the character's morality. Um, are they right or wrong with the information I have at this moment, you know? And a lot of it's a tough call. Uh, you know, I mean, right up until, you know, everything is on the table, or the court, rather, in Challengers, and it's a must-see. We will be right back with an interview with Galen Ross. <laughs> 